By far the most important new feature of version 6, however, is the way that we interact with data. Previously in SERPAC it was a case of you, you pick a menu, um, invoke a function and then choose the data to perform that function on. We've rearranged that in version 6 that, such that we now have a selection, the ability to select geometry objects and then perform actions on them. Over here is the select, uh, select tool okay, and you'll see there's four modes. One is the select mode which it'll pick the, what it thinks is the most appropriate thing based on where the mouse is. Then you can select points, um, segments, or strings, or triangle translation and object, depending on the data you've got on screen. So if we work currently in select mode, you'll see that, and you can still use your mouse wheel to navigate, um, if I'm close to a point, it highlights the point that I'm going to select. If, however, I'm not close to a point, uh, if I can get there, like so, it's going to select the entire segment. Um, now the thing with selections is that even if you select a point, right clicking will bring up a, a list of functions that you can do on the, whatever it is you have selected. The top one will be a, an option which will allow you to change your selection. So you can select the parent segment. Um, once you've selected a segment, you can right click again. You can either select every point in the segment or you can go up and select the entire string that is related to this segment. Um, and also you can perform functions, which is the second set down. Um, and again, this is what we call a context sensitive menu. Um, and it, so it is sensitive to what you have selected. The menu will change based on whatever it is you've got selected. Some of the, the standards that will be on every menu, however, will be delete, um, the, the view commands, the save command, and a list of the recent commands that you've invoked. Um, down the bottom here is a, a copy of the toolbar that we've got on the side here. Okay, if you find that um, you're having trouble selecting exactly what it is you want, then the idea is grab one of these other selection modes, and then it will choose only whatever it is that you want selected, i.e., the segment. Okay, um, some of the modifiers on this. Um, obviously, if you drag a box, you can select those. If you hold down the control key, it adds um, or subtracts selections. Um, holding down the ALT while you're in select mode just lets you orbit, um, same as the, the, the standard um, SERPAC commands. You can still use the mouse wheel to zoom as I said earlier. The other very important feature of this um, is over here on the right which is what we call the properties pane. When you select an object you'll get properties of it. Okay, You'll get the XYZ position. Now these properties as long as they're unique are editable. Um, so I can say that this point I actually want at, uh, maybe we'll move that to uh, 7700 and the point will move. Okay, we'll move it to 7800 so you can actually see what it's doing and there goes the point. If you select multiple points, so for instance I go select segment and then maybe we'll select all the points, so it selects every point on the segment. You'll see the X and Y change, so you've got multiple values in the property window, but the Z remains editable. Um, when you edit that, you can either type in a new number, or you can say something to the effect of Z plus 20, and it'll move it 20 metres upwards. Um, now, as I say, that is de dependent on the, the data that you have in graphics at the time. So if I, for instance, had a pit, um, then select mode, will be working on the triangles. Again, highlights the triangles, gives you information about them. I think that's pretty much it to do with these. As I say, you grab multiples of these and right click. Um, the context menu will be different um, depending on what you've got. If we select the entire translation, we can then select points above or below, um, inside or outside, we can validate things. Okay, and we can perform all the options that you'd want to do, or well, some of the options that you'd want to do on a um, on a trislation. The amount of options you can uh, use will be growing over time. Um, they're obviously not complete yet.